Good morning. Antimicrobial resistance is one of the most important issues the world faces today. It's a real issue. Patients are dying due to antimicrobial resistance. Every day, I treat patients with severe infections where only one or two antibiotics are effective. I have treated infections in many patients where there is not even one antibiotic is effective. Why is that? Why are we not having antibiotics to treat infections? It's a global problem. It's seen in all countries, all continents, but countries like India, especially South Asian countries, are seriously hit by antimicrobial resistance crisis. Why is that? If you want to know the reason why countries like India are the, are the ones seriously hit by antibiotic resistance crisis, we need to know what produces antibiotic resistance. Oh yeah, we all know those doctors are misusing antibiotics, they are giving antibiotic to patients where antibiotic is not necessary, they are overusing antibiotics, doctors are bad, they created antibiotic resistance crisis. Let doctors correct themselves, let doctors learn about antibiotic resistance. If doctors improve their prescription, if doctors improve their knowledge, we can solve antibiotic resistance crisis. 70 percentage of the global antibiotic usage is for growth promotion in animal farming and what about 30 percentage 30 percentage is used by humans of the 30 percentage half of it at least half of it around the world 50 percentage of the human antibiotic usage is by the public they go and buy antibiotic from the pharmacy without doctor's prescription. We call it as over-the-counter sale of antibiotics without prescription. That means 85% of global antibiotic usage is not by doctors. Now let's say 50% of antibiotics by doctors is irrational. Half of the antibiotic usage by doctors is irrational. Let's say. That means out of 15, 50% 50 is 7.5. Let's say 8% of the global antibiotic usage is misused by doctors. So even if half of the doctors' antibiotic usage is misused, that will just account for 8% of the global antibiotic usage. A car company is investing in development of a car, market it, and the car experts say, don't use that car, don't use that car. Which car company will invest in a car where after marketing, experts say, don't use that car. That is the problem with antibiotics. That's why pharmaceutical companies do not want to invest in antibiotics. They believe it's not profitable for them. So one end, pharmaceutical industry stop investment and development of antibiotics and on the other end we all misuse antibiotics and make them resistant that's what we call antimicrobial resistance is a complex challenge like global warming like Poverty bugs become resistant if you use antibiotics. And then these bugs spread in the hospitals. These bugs spread in the community. For example, misuse of antibiotic in the hospital or use of antibiotic in the hospital creates drug resistant super bugs in hospitals. And these bugs spread from one patient to the next patient, from patients to the water, from water to the outside the hospital, to the community, spreading in rivers, ponds. And now we know that 
Seventy percent of the antibody usage is by farmers, and drug-resistant bacteria from these animals spread in the water, spread to vegetable farming, spread to the water, spread to humans. So, bugs spread in hospitals. Bugs spread faster if we don't keep enough sanitation in hospitals. Lack of sanitation helps spread of superbugs in the community. Antibiotics are misused in the community. Patients go to the pharmacies and buy antibiotics without prescription. Friends, cholestin is the last resort antibiotic to treat highly drug resistant bacterial infections. Do you know that cholestin is one of the most popular antibiotics used as a growth promotional agent in animals? So friends, antibody misuse by the doctors is only one of the many many reasons of antimicrobial resistance crisis. We need to regulate the antibody usage in the farming. We need to regulate the over-the-counter sale without, anti without doctor's prescription in pharmacies. We need new antibiotics. We need vaccines to prevent infections. We need laboratory diagnostics. Without public participation, we can't control AMR. Because 70% of the antibiotic usage is in farming. 15% is over-the-counter sale of antibiotics. Public should be educated on the danger of over-the-counter sale of antibiotics without prescription. Patient pressure is one of the important factors of antibody misuse by general practitioners. You educate the public on the importance of sanitation in the hospitals, the importance of hand hygiene in the hospitals and in the community. We need everybody. We need industry. We need public. We need politicians. We need doctors. We need veterinarians. We need bureaucrats to tackle all of them to tackle AMR crisis. The joint the collective action by all stakeholders. Thank you.